Muhammad Naji Abu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we will be discussing on PyTorch tensors. So especially like we will be discussing about one dimensional PyTorch tensors. So tensors like which is basically same as that of NumPy and we can do like all the operations like uh, what we are doing with the NumPy we can do it with the tensors. So uh, but usually like we will use NumPy for the machine learning algorithms such as k-means or like decision, decision tree something like that but we will use like the PyTorch will use tensors for the mainly for the deep learning purposes because they, are, they, will, they will be supporting or they are supporting GPU kind of operations which will give the high performance. So as I mentioned in this video we will be discussing specifically on the PyTorch one dimensional arrays. So we can do some kind of a sample code here. So we can first try to import the torch. Okay. So I have imported the torch. Now we can specify torch dot tensor. So this is how we can create a one dimensional tensor. We can specify like one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now just print V. Okay, so this is the type of tensor. So this is similar to, as I mentioned, this is similar to like NumPy array. Here like I can select V of 0, we will get 1. You can select V of 1, okay. So here we can do the slicing operations. I can select 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4. So that will have 2, 3 and 4. Okay, so this is um, discarding the upper bound, just like in NumPy, or like any other list operations, any other slice operation. Okay. So, so this is we can now we can check the type. You can mention type. So this is a kind of a integer type, torch torch dot integer type. So there is another data type that we can called torch dot float. can mention float dot tensor okay here i can mention 1 2 3 4 and 5 now let me print the type of f f dot d type f dot d type so this is torch dot float now we can print this f so this is uh, all the members in this particular list in the float format, float 32 format. Okay. Now here we can see the size of the tensor using f dot size which will give us like a 5. Okay. So there is another method just like numpy reshape tensor provides the view method. So I can write here view dot view and here I can mention 3 dot 2, 3 comma 2. So this will split a one dimensional array to two dimensional array, which has a like a three rows. The first number says three, and this says number of columns here. So here we have, you can, you can see there are like three rows and two columns. Okay. Now what happens if I type view dot uh, 4 comma 2, this will definitely throw an error because we cannot reshape to 4, 4 comma 2 because we have only 6 members are there in this particular list. So another way is like just see like if we have a <coughs> view. Now just think like I have I need a 2 rows but I am not, not specifying a column here instead of that I am specifying minus 1. Okay. So in this case what will happen? This will, the column number will be like automatically guessed by the view function. Okay. For example, if I mention 3, the column, so this, this view dot view knows that it need a 3 rows. Okay. The column will be calculated based on its size. So this will be automatically calculated. The columns, number of columns will be automatically calculated. Now we can try to do like couple of operations. So let me, for that, let me try to import NumPy. 
we can see how can we create a tensor from numpy okay so for that first let me create a numpy array numpy array i can create like np dot array then i can specify one two three maybe four okay so here let me print the type of numpy it's a numpy array okay now i'm going to create a torch tensor maybe i will mention the torch tensor one here there is a function called from from numpy okay so this will convert a numpy array a numpy array to tensor so here i can print the tensor okay here also i can print the tensor type sorry tensor type this is torch dot integer in similar way there is a option we can convert a tensor to numpy so here i will mention numpy1 here i can convert tensor1 to numpy numpy1 and i can print the type of numpy1 you can see it is nd are numpy are so these are the things i want to discuss in this particular video so in in our coming videos we will be discussing about like multi dimensional tensors and all those things please do like and subscribe have a nice day bye bye